You're watching the Lazizi Review Show. What do you buy? Lazizi. You are watching the Sweetie Girl Production. It's like that. Snap, snap. So hello out there, YouTube land. Yes, girl, yes. It's some boy, yes. Today, we're talking about Puerto Rico. Yeah, it's going to be Puerto Rico. It's going to be a very controversial topic. But we're not really just talking about Puerto Rico. What we're really talking about is New York Ricans and how Puerto Ricans from Puerto Rico receive them. Right, it's going to be touchy, touchy, touchy. Right here on the Lazis Review. Stay tuned. <laughs> So when I say there's going to be a touchy, touchy situation, touchy little topic here, it is because, you know, one of you get a bunch of Puerto Ricans together and talk about shit about their island, they don't like it, right? Because it's theirs. They think it's theirs, right? And it's not. It's not. See, I'm going to hear, I'm going to expose it. I'm going to expose it for the truth, what it is. Like I always say, when do you know, when you expose the truth, well, the lie dies, right? And it does. I got that from my aunt. So the lie is going to die right here. In the Lazizi show, it's going to die for you, right? So here it goes. When you're dealing with Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico is really called rich port, right? Why do you think they called it that? Because it's an important export, you know, area, region on the planet, right? Well, many years ago, they used it like that. And they're still doing that in a lot of ways because let me tell you something about America. America, okay, yeah, you didn't know this. Maybe you didn't know this. Maybe you didn't realize this because, you know, you swear, a lot of you swear that the Puerto Ricans are making off real sweet on the island on government assistance. And no, Puerto Rico actually generates way more money for America than America gives back to Puerto Rico. It's just like um, it's just like if you took a little kid, right, and you slapped some change out of his hand, out of his hand, and all the twenty-five pieces, well, really the ten cent pieces, the ten cent pieces. I know because I used to do this shit to my little cousins. I know it's bad, right? So you know the little ten cent pieces, they're a lot smaller than the five cent pieces, right? Get, follow me. So you say, oh here, give me. How about I give you all the five cent pieces and you give me the ten cents? Cause look, it's so little. And then they're like, okay. And then they give it to them. Basically, that's what happened. They got played. They got conned out of their, you know, their resources. That's them, all right? Puerto Rico is an island pretty much getting taken advantage of. Yeah, I said it, whatever, right? So over there. Boop. Now, let's leave that fact over there for now. Let's talk about something else that really kind of pisses me off, and that's this. A lot of times, some of you Puerto Ricans for the island want to get up on me and right? get on top of me, ride me to the sunset, and be with this one. Oh, don't represent Taino because you're not a Taino. You, you an American. All right, that's um really, really, really stupid. And I'm going to tell you why. Because first of all, first of all, let's get this straight. I don't represent for Taino or nothing like that. Because I myself, you will never catch me going, you're so Taina, you're so Indiacita. I don't do that. Okay, because I'm not nationalistic in any way, shape, or form. I will be more like repping. You might see me say some shit like, I'm human from the planet Earth. Yes. You don't like that. But you don't ever see me represented for um, small categories of humans on the planet. Because I don't care about that. Because I feel like this. We're all here on the planet Earth. Let's, you know, love, chill on it. Let's um protect our Earth, our Mother Earth, right? Like, think about it. You over here worrying about the little glass of water, and I'm over here worrying about the whole entire kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Because, if, you know, you can't live off the only glass of water. You better live off the whole entire kitchen. Basically, what I'm about is evolution. You know, I'm about the evolution of man and woman, animals, nature, whatever. Thank you. Ooh, right there. So, for you all out there that like to hate, don't try to box me. You can't box Lazizi. Whoops, I slipped right through your fingers, and then, then, bye. Right? There you go. Now, if I come off a little shady in this video, it's because I am shady today. I'm in a bad mood about it. You know, first of all, I hurt my back. I fell. I know, yeah. And I was um, recuperating for days. Ch I couldn't even move, right? But that's there, whatever. I'm back. That's easy as back to talk to you. Right? And I'm here to tell you that you're Puerto Rican, right? But Puerto Rico means rich poor, right? But, you know, we have a lot of several different kinds of bloods because of that rich poor. Mm -hmm. And, um... Native, the, the native to the island, the Taino and others like that, is very little bit inside you. I don't care what they say. You have a lot of a Native American blood inside you because they also came and brought them to the island because of the fact that they wiped them all out. Do your research if you don't believe that. Do it. And the fact that they call you American, well, guess what? If you're living in Puerto Rico, you're American anyway because, well, basically, Puerto Rico is a commonwealth. Ah, do your motherfucking research. And I'm not coming out snotty with the rest of you out there that get me and understand where I'm coming from. But I'm coming out snotty with the rest of you out there that don't. All right? Because I'm not that nice. And I'm not going to be coming on my videos and, and apologetic and ass kissing when I'm the one that edits these shits. And I'm the one that puts these shits together. And it's my opinion. Right? Okay, there you go. Shake hands. Right? Whatever. Right? Now, I'm going to play nice, nice. And I'm going to try to come as sweet as I can as sugar and pie when I tell you... 
Well, I understand why a lot of times the Puerto Rico Puerto Ricans from Puerto Rico have a have a you know an issue with us being you know us New York Ricans, and I'm gonna talk about New York Ricans from New York. Um, it's because of the way they see us, you know, they they see us on these little vine vans or whatever, you know, you kids say it the right way. I'm saying it wrong, right? Whatever, and they see us on these the social media. They also see us on YouTube acting a fool. They they hear the way we talk and we talk like this. A lot of us, a lot of us talk like this. With, Yo, what's good, my nigga, my nigga, what's up, my nigga? And a lot of us women talk like that. You know, I try very hard not to. This is my accent, and I know it's a little tough. It's a little rough. It's a you know a little rough, rugged and raw. Yeah, represent, represent. I'm from the Bronx. I'm New York City, and you had to be real tough to live in New York City. This is not the island Puerto Rico. This is not you know paradise. You know, and over there in Puerto Rico, don't don't get it twisted. They got their ghettos, and they got their thugs, and they got those girls over there that'll slice you up and kill you and feed you to the sharks, too. Yes, not all of them are like, They're not all like that either, right? So don't act, get it twisted in the ass and act like it's like that, because it ain't all like that anywhere. It's like that, and then it's not, right? But basically, I know I'm, I know I'm sounding um, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but I'm being passionate, so deal with me. Now back to the subject of, you know, you're know you're, you New York weekend, right? So stop acting like you from Puerto Rico because you're a fucking American. That's a thing that they like to say a lot. And I wish that they wouldn't look so fucking stupid when they said that because it's like, you know, you're a commonwealth too. I personally believe that just because they say something don't make it so. I mean, Puerto Rico's all the way over there. You know, it's all the way... In, carajo over the ocean and everything so they want to say it's part of the americans because they stole it whatever you know and then that's true and and us in puerto, puerto rico we generate way more money for the america than we for america than it does for them and that's that's a fact as well you know and i understand and i understand their resentment to people coming new on the island you know they call them gringos or whatever and i get it but to to push us away as puerto ricans when our grandparents are from the island it's like bitch please I would tell you, fuck you, right there. Yeah, I, I tell you that, you know, because I'm not that nice. Like I said, I'm not here to please you and ask kiss you. I'm here to, to spread wisdom and knowledge. I study real hard, and um, I learn things in life so I could give it back to you so I could um help you, all of you that want to know that, you know, your island's full of, you know, slavery, you know, on both sides. It's full of slavery, and it's full of several different kinds of bloods, and that's what's in you. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that Puerto Rico is a lot like New York City, you know, with ports, where they just, a lot of different bloods from a lot of different regions of the planet came there because it was a rich port. There you go. Deal with it. Now, back to my... That ain't no blood. Okay, now here you go. Let me tell you something about this, right? My honey, that he's on the island... He is more Taino than you can get, and he doesn't even represent for it. He represents for Native American because he goes back to his bloodlines and say he's a Blackfoot Native American, right? But his blood, but his bloods was over there too, like say his grandparents and his mother and 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 his father. But his grandparents on certain on his other side, on his father's side, wasn't. You know, he he could find he he found out that there was a Native American trait in him, so um he represents for that because that's what he knows for sure. And then he goes into them woods and he takes it, you know, he, he might as well have the feathers and he might as well be running around naked in them woods because he's the biggest thing you know, I ever really seen in, in there. You know, he, he knows how to cultivate the land and he could bake fire without even using matches and he could live off the land like if he's a baby living in a crib. All right. When these men out there can't even they don't dare step into those deep ass jungles unless they got the proper boots and the proper attire. But yet in the, a lot of them will be like, yo soy Taino, yo soy Taino. Just because you got a tattoo. Right. Now I'm going to diss you. I'm going to tell you. I don't give a fuck because I'm mad about this. I'm baby. I'm mad about it like crazy. OK, because I'm going to tell you I'm very angry with it. I'm going to be honest because just because you get a tattoo. Right. That says you are Taino. And just because you get a no parade and you start marching around to the beats of the drum, you know, let's dance to the drummers be let's dance and all of that. You know, that's sweet. That's sweet. That's nice. Right. But until you could go up in the woods and sleep in there. Without even having a, you know, a man-made tent, for, you know, like say a, like a constructed tent like that you got from Walmart, right? Then shut the fuck up. That's what I'm telling you. Because a lot of them live, they say they live in these communities where they, they, they represent them just like, you know, they, they, they made them up just like the way they used to be. You know, they brought back the Taino ways and stuff. I've not seen it. I've heard of it. 
Now that's nice, you know, and they live indigenous to the island, like the, the, they live the way the indigenous people to the island many, 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 many moons ago did, right? Never seen it, but I heard of it. Yunkens, I think it, they call it. You, don't don't quote me. Look this shit up because I'm very new to that, and that part I don't understand too much. And those are the ones that I don't wanna wanna fight me out on it and cry to me and bitch to me. And I'm like, I'm not trying to take away anything from you. I'm trying to help your fucking island, our island, our island. Deal with it. If you're a New York City Reiki and you want to represent for Puerto Rico, I'm telling you, you could represent it because your grandparents was from there. That's your island. Those are your bloods. And when they take them apart, right, to see what kind of bloods they have, they're going to find out they got Chinese and Arab and African all through them too. And then they're going to be shocked and amazed going, no, no puedo ser, no puedo ser. Yes. Yes. Biatch. Deal with it. Now, a lot of you in Puerto Rico are going to see this video. Some of you are going to click out and run, okay, because I'm a hard body biatch in this one i don't care you know and i'm gonna tell you how it is because i'm not here to to once again say it's sweet and innocent for you you know i don't also stand in front of the church over there you know where you see a big dead jesus and they're over there pretending like a lot of them a lot of them and maybe not all of them but a lot of them do this i lived there for several years and i'll tell you a lot of them do this they sit there and they come and mierda and they just um be like this look and then they see a drug addict walking along and then they throw him some pennies and they like move it along and shit but when they see a hard working person they don't they don't use their money to pay for what that hard person that hard working person is selling but they rather just give to the drug addict you know and what are you doing when you do that all you do is that you um you know help him not to progress you help him to be like fucked up and they don't see the big picture that that's not that's not Jesus like trust me it's not Jesus like is helping the drug addict to get himself together not to keep feeding, you know, the machine, okay? Because all he's going after is, you know, the, the dragon, you know, like they call it. The white lady, whatever. The white lady is the bag, you know, with the dope in it. I tell you, they don't even got real dope there, supposedly. These are things I've heard. These are the legends. They got, you know, horse tranquilizers and other fucking drugs out there. That's, so that's why that a lot of times they get pudri on their arms fall off or they get their arms taken off. And you really will see this in Puerto Rico. You will see certain drug addicts missing limbs. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not here to tell you that Puerto Rico is just a horror, you know, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Because it is a beautiful, beautiful island. Come down and see for yourself. It's gorgeous. And you just, um, so many people out there. There are so many people, educated, wonderful people from different regions of the world. A lot of them are New York Ricans. Yes, like me. Como esta? And they're there and they're making it better. They're rescuing animals. They're cleaning up the the areas, the, the jungles, the, you know, the, the the woods, the woods. They're cleaning because we don't got like serious jungles, but we got woods. You know, and they're cleaning up the montes and, and they're doing their best to, to make that, to, to turn that island back to the beautiful paradise that it needs to be. And I don't know why those, a lot of the Puerto Ricans that live there have a problem with that. Because if you got a problem with that, then you could basically, what? Kiss my motherfucking ass. I tell you, I don't care. And I don't give a shit. All right, about about anybody's um you know attitude towards that because if you're trying to make the island better for the people, work for yourself, you know, be independent, then you should be grateful for that and you should be like you know move forward and stop having a problem with your own Puerto Rican brothers and sisters from different regions of the planet that are coming back to save the island. You should be on your hands and knees and ass kissing because of that because that's what I would be doing if mommy and daddy came back home to fix it and and that's what basically a lot of us are going back to Puerto Rico to do because we're not going over there to take drugs and fuck it up and take from the government. We're going over there to make our own shit, make it better, try to get that shit independent. Yeah, and I curse when I talk, but that's, you know, that's my way. But don't don't ever insult my intelligence and act like because I talk a certain way that I think a certain way. Because I don't. So this last day's review was a heavy hitter. I know. I was very brutal. And I want to say I'm sorry if I was a little too brutal to some of you Puerto Ricans out there, especially you guys on the island. And I want to say kisses and hugs to all of you that get me. You know who you are. And for those of you that don't, well, try, try, and if you can and you find it to be too painful, then click out and boop and bye. But anyway, like I always say, click like, don't forget, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm here for you, I'm always here for you. And that's why I get these backlashes because I do it for you. At the end of the day, it's always for you. So thanks for watching my show. Bye bye.